What is up guys? This is What's My Game and we are playing Witcher 3. I know a lot of you are glad to see this back again. And uh, I'm covering a glitch that still works uh, for patch 105 on console and 106 on PC. We are just outside the very beginning of the game in White Orchard. Outside the very first town you come to, Crossroads. And what you want to do, you probably never blew up this nest, at least I never did, because you don't have bombs at the very beginning of the game, so it's ch the chances are, hopefully, that you haven't blown it up yet. Um, this will work with any nest in the entire game. I just want to make that very clear. So you have to blow up the nest. This nest I want you to use, though, because it has the most valuable rune in it. And that rune is worth, well... The value that you see on here is not what you actually get. It's 980 gold, okay, or crown. And it's not worth that when you sell it, but it is the most valuable item out of any nest that I've found. And um, I have about 90% of them, maybe 85% of them um, found. So there might be something that's more valuable, but this is really pretty valuable. And uh, it's way more valuable than that gold ring. But I'll tell you what, go ahead and pick it up as well. A lot of people also are having trouble with getting the, the nest to duplicate. And there it is. I'm having trouble with it myself. So you got to be a little bit creative. Walk away. More importantly, go slow when you spin. And like maybe take a pause or look up and down like I'm doing right now. And that normally works. And there they are again. Okay. So a lot of people, you know, they'll spin and spin. And then for some reason it just stops. And remember, guys, this is a glitch, so it's 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 not perfect. It's not really, I don't think, meant, meant for this to happen. So if you find yourself like I just did having trouble, and I'm going to speed it up now, but if you find yourself having trouble, uh, slow down your spin and either pause when you're not looking at the nest for a moment or look up and down and make sure that loot word or whatever language it's showing is off your screen. So you got to look up for a second, take a beat, and then go all the way back down. And between that and spinning slower, you should go back. I'm going to let this video roll uh, because I want to show that you got show you guys there. I have 45 now. I want to show because I started with only two when I when I first did this because I grabbed one then I had two. I want to get to 100, and that'll quell any doubts that this works five, six, seven times that I keep hearing. Most people are able to get it infinite, but some of you are having trouble, and I feel bad because. You know, a lot of these, I'm either the first or one of the first to break these exploits, and I want to make sure that you guys know it's legit. So I'm going to roll all the way through this thing until I get to 100. And this is nonstop, unedited. All I did was fast forward it so it didn't take so long. But there I'm at 101. So um, if you're having trouble, again, I'll repeat, please take your time. Spin slower. Take Spin around so you can't see the nest and just take a beat and then spin back. Or look up and then look down and make sure you can't see the word loot. Um, one thing I did run into is when I went back to this nest a little bit later to do it again, just to, to check it, because I always check everything before I do it, 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 the nest was blown up. And even though I had left items in the nest, just like you saw, when I went back there, the nest needed to be blown up again. And I'll tell you that in a moment. But the next thing you want to do is take it to Novograd. And this is our favorite uh, uh, in uh, shopkeep. Uh, the Lone Shark. So you want to go exactly right here where my circle is. That's where he's at. Okay, so you want to fast travel here. And it doesn't matter if you're overburdened. Because you can walk slow like I am right now. So I'm actually overburdened. So I'm walking really slow. So I'm trying to call my damn horse. And finally his ass comes over here. So now if you ride your horse, it's a little bit quicker. So it's okay if you're overburdened. I mean, you can get to 200 items if you wanted to. And then come here to the, to the Lone Shark. This still works. Now, there's a little bit of controversy about whether you should buy the Florins or not from this guy. And if you've done the glitch with the seashells that I brought you, then you know what I'm talking about, okay? Yes, very early in the game, it was patched that you cannot make money on Florins, okay? So, it is, it, 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 it's, it's a wash. But the reason you buy Florins is because it gives your guy more money to buy your, your runes and your, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and sell the gold rings, faster, okay? And then, you take the florins to the bank of Avaldi and you get all your money back so like for instance right now I just bought 
I, he could only buy five of my runes. That was it. So this would take 20 back and forth to get this to work because he can only buy five at a time. Whoops, I got on the wrong screen here. Let me go back. So, uh, again, I'm just going to buy the runes by itself without buying Florins. And again, he can't buy very many at a time. So go back to where you need to say, show me your wares. Me you you go back stuff. in and all his gold restocks. But also, he has Florins to buy. So what I recommend is buying the Florins. Because, look, he only is able to buy two that time. It's going to take forever. Show me so don't do it that way, in my, in my opinion. Um, go ahead and buy the Florins. And it'll give him a lot more money. To, so he has 1261 now. So when I buy the Florins, he has 5400 now. And again, that's my money. I realize that. But I'm going to get it all back anyway uh, in like two minutes because we're going to go visit the bank and then we exchange the Florence for crowns and it's a 1-1 one, one exchange. You get everything right back. And see how I was so able to sell stuff. so many more runes to him. It'll make, it the, it'll make the whole process faster. So go ahead and buy the Florence so he has a ton of money and then sell whatever you're selling. I recommend that nest that I showed you because the item is the most valuable. You can technically sell whatever you want, but if they're only going to give you one or two crowns for them a piece, it's going to take you forever. They have now lifted the cap on the 60, it was like 65,535 something crowns. They've lifted that. So as you'll see in this video, I'm going to go over to, I'm going to go over a 100 grand. Um, now I've gotten to the point where I've sold all my runes that I want to sell and um, I'm going to sell all my, all my gold rings here, I think. And the gold rings aren't worth as much, but they take up inventory space. They're heavy. So now I've got everything sold. I had a couple left, and he's out of money, so I'm done. So long. So the next step in this is to go visit the uh, Vivaldi Bank in Novograd. And in case somebody's watching that's never seen this glitch before, I'm going to show you exactly where it's at. And now I'm unencumbered because I've sold enough, especially all those gold rings. So now I can just haul ass over there. So I'm just going to run. So this is where you go, right here. And I put a marker. You can run or ride your horse, but I'm just going to haul ass. You basically just follow this green line, pretty much. Hang a right there. And then I almost made a mistake. <laughs> and then look, I got here so fast. Look at look at what's going on. It's glitching out. It's like the bank isn't open. It's like a fuzzy wall. So just like anything else in this game, turn around, move around, come back, and bam, it works again. <laughs> So this game, even with all these fixes, is still not perfect, but we still love it. That guy didn't want to talk to me at the minute. I had to move the controller, and then he was. So, again, now I'm just going to trade in my crown, uh, my uh, Florins for crowns. I had no Florins before. And now I have a bunch of Florins. I'm going to trade them in, and I'm going to get an ass load full of money. And that's it. Bam. Now I have over 100 grand in coins, or crowns, gold, whatever the hell it is. So that's it, guys. This is still working on patch 105 for consoles and 106. This game footage was taken June 29th, 2015. Now I'm going to show you the glitch that's also working for XP, for experience. Uh, the Path of Warriors, it's still working. This footage was taken immediately after that footage. So you have to go to Skellig Island, okay? The Skellig Isles, excuse me. And you want to go to the North... Uh, was it? Never Eat Soggy Waffles. <laughs> Northeast Island up here in the corner, right? So, and you want to go to, uh, to this spot right here. And um, I have a video explaining this in detail. I even have a video explaining how to beat the quest, uh, the tower out of nowhere that you have to beat to get this. So I, you check that out on my channel, but I'm just showing you guys this does still work. So along with this, I just got 50 experience points. So along with this experience exploit or glitch, whatever you want to call it, where you can get 50 XP like every 5-6 seconds. Combine that with the infinite money and you have everything you want in this game. The God Mode glitch does work. I did it again today. Again, I know I haven't been paying this game much attention because I've been all over Elder Scrolls and now Batman and just real life. So I'm sorry I haven't paid a whole bunch of attention to it, but I knew that these glitches still worked. So I wanted to go ahead and do a video for, for new people, but also show the best nest since the the um, the do shell do? thing doesn't really isn't the best way to go anymore, uh, use the use the nest that has the that I showed you at the beginning outside of crossroads because it gives you the most money uh, per item more than even the shells. 
So that's it pretty much guys just showing you the two best glitches that still work god mode glitch still does work So if you want to go visit my other video, you can still do a uh, god mode glitch and uh, Thank you so much for all your support. You guys are amazing. Please comment down below what you want to see um, It's not that I've wanted to stop doing witcher content. It's just that there's nothing new out there um, I've tried to do a bunch of new things myself and Really, what else do you need? You got unlimited experience and unlimited money, but as soon as something pops up from either one of my subscribers or I find it myself, you guys know I'll be on it like white on rice. So uh, thank you so much, uh, and thank you for your support. Uh, have a great day. This is What's My Game. See ya! What do I do to complete? Eager. Bring me that with the shawl. What do I do to complete? Eager. Bring me that with the shawl. What do I do to come eager? Bring me that with the shawl. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh?